Look up at the camera. So you're right up there, right up there. What's up? Hey there, this is Darren and my office manager's manager. Uh, this is Zoe. Hey, Zoe. Yes, this is puppy bait. <laughs> oh my goodness. What's going on? You hear the beep. Okay. All right. So what is the most important class you can take in my opinion? I don't care who you take it from. I'm not here to just say you must take my class. This is about you and your growth. If you're a presenter, if you're a speaker, uh, if you use presentation to self build your business, in my opinion, this is the most important class that you can take. You got to know your expertise. I got that. You got to know how to give a good presentation. I agree with that too. Here's one thing you may not know about my career that before I was a speaker, I wanted to be an actor and early in my career, I'm hoping you can see this. You might have to zoom in. I actually was in a wedding show, a dinner wedding show where I got married three times a week, once on Friday, twice on Saturdays. And those were old pictures. I used to get married three times a week. But those pictures are from an improv show. Uh, I loved improv. I took a class from Keith Johnstone. If you're an improver, you probably know who he is. He started theater sports. He's got a book called Impro, which it's great to read the book, but you gotta take an improv class. You and I on stage have to be able to adjust in the moment based on what's happening. So even if you know your content, if you don't have the ability to be in that moment. Now, if you take an improv class, it's going to stretch you. There's going to be some wacky things and you might be thinking, what does this have to do with presenting? For you and I to be in the moment, there is no connection unless you're in the moment with your students, with the people who are listening to, with that audience, whether it's in a boardroom or in front of a group of 2000 people. Take a improv class, please. It is a separate muscle. There's presenting, but underneath that, it is the muscle of improv, your ability to be in that moment. Had I not done that show three times a week, taken improv classes, I would not be the presenter that I am today. Now, Kevin Burke, if you know Kevin Burke and Mike Davis from, uh, from wherever you know them, but they're part of my Stage Time University coaching team, uh, Kevin proposed to me, hey, we should do an improv class on Zoom. And I thought, would that really work? So we tried it and with breakout rooms, it actually works really well. So if you're interested, uh, there's one tonight, stagetimeworkshops.com. If you just go to stagetimeworkshops.com, you will see uh, there's, there's one tonight, 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. Pacific time. 9 p.m. Eastern time, something, no, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. So tonight, Friday, depending on when you're watching this, but they do one every two weeks. We weren't sure if it would work, but I thought I talk about this all the time. Why would we not have one? So if you're not a Stage Time University member, you can join us, it's 40 bucks. If you are a Stage Time member, then you know you get half off of that price. One of your member bonuses, it makes it 20 bucks. But Anyway, this is not necessarily about our class. This is about you and your skills. Find an improv class near you. Check with the comedy clubs, uh, Google search in your city. So when things are available live, you can go and check it out live. So we do this online, which is really cool because we now have people from India, from the United States, from uh, the UK, all logging into our improv class. It's a 90 minute session. We do not record it. It takes, it makes no sense for you to watch a recording of an improv class. You've got to partake. So it's the only event we don't record, but whether it's our class or someone else's, please consider an improv class. It's one of those underlying skills that affects all of your presentations and, and your connection with that audience. So I've said it for years and then finally, finally Kevin Burke said, why don't we teach one? Oh, <laughs> okay. So, uh, hey, if you're interested in checking out ours, just go to stagetimeworkshops.com. And if uh, you're watching this, you can use uh, Event 25 and get 25% uh, off. But no matter who teaches it, just take a class, please. It's one of those things 
that gives you that ability to be present. And without present, uh, there is no connection. Without connection, you can't educate, entertain, or inspire. So take an improv class, please. Whoever you want to take it from, I don't care. But take one, take two. When you finally do it, you'll realize it's kind of fun. Or maybe you've done it before and you're like, oh, that's a good idea. I should do that again. But find one and take one because it's that muscle that you and I need to keep working on. I'm forever thankful for the foundation of being in an improv wedding show. What was cool is it was like a 25 minute play and the rest of the night in character, you're forced to improv, which was so cool because as a hyper introvert, it gave me that that character, that time to play, that permission to play. And I really needed that early on. If you met me or know me, you, if you see me outside of the speaking world, I'm still pretty much an introvert. But on stage, I'm more extroverted, I'm more connected because of my improv background. It's fun and you grow. Please take an improv class.